Alrighty, guys. Here's a little advice of dinoflagellant issues. If you guys are having a hard time trying to get rid of them, I'll give you a piece of advice. Guys, don't use chemicals to get rid of it. They won't work. Even um, hydrogen peroxide doesn't work either. The reason why is because dinoflagellants have a single, they're a single cell, and also they have a shell. So they're pretty uh, armored little cell organisms. So my advice is dim the lighting, less nutrients, so less feeding. And if you guys have a major dinoflagellant issue, turn your aquarium complete off and make sure to cover everything, not even a speck of light in that tank for three days. After that's over, then remove everything and then put your actinic light on and leave it on for 12 hours. If you see any little bits of remaining, scrub it off by using a toothbrush or a hand scrubber and take out about 10% a day. And remember, make sure your chemistry is okay and still add a little bit of additives in there. The three additives I use is stress coat, stress zyme, and microbacter. Now increase more of your beneficial bacteria, like I use my microbacter to increase it. And uh, what it will do is it will feed on the nutrients and compete with the nanoflagellants that feed on anything. It will starve them to death and then they will slowly die off. The more you stay on top of your little bit of water changes and also increasing your beneficial bacteria and make sure that you keep your chemistry correct your dinoflagellants will slowly start dying off and then you will not have them anymore. Unless you stay on top of them, they will start slowly disappearing, but if you don't, it's going to get worse and then all of a sudden you're going to be stressed out and you might give up on having your saltwater tank and you don't want to do that. So that's what you should do. And the bacteria stimulations that I recommend is API Stresszyme, Microbacter 7, and CCAM stimulation. It will do a really good job keeping your bacteria well balanced, but it also will feed on the nutrients and compete with your dinoflagellants. So I hope this advice works out because you can see my tank here looks pretty good, even though I'm still facing the problem, but I stay on top of everything. All right, take care.